character review for Gabriel? Guys, guys, before the video starts, if you want to play games on your computer like I am, what I use is BlueStacks. Now, if you want to support the channel, the small channel, and plus if you want to play games on your PC, make sure you hit my affiliate link down below. BlueStacks, you know, my affiliate link, make sure you download it. And let's get right into the video. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome here to, you know what it is, Goddess of Genshin. And today, we are going to be doing a little character review on your boy your girl whatever you want to call him slash her because it's kind of both to be honest but anyway gabriel so basically but gabriel i don't know why i say it like that twice but other than that yeah my voice is probably gonna sound a little different um i don't know why but whatever it is you know anyway though so basically what i want to talk about is like you no know, show talk about his skills show well talk about her skills show her stats show her awakenings show her gear show her artifacts show her perks show how she is in battle like yada yada you, we know the gist now basically her talent was the same thing as her passive which is when hp is above 50 percent decreases damage taken for single target attacks by 25 percent so anybody that's doing a single target attack when they get hit it's like oh also i'm gonna make sure you will already say gear y'all kind of could put two and two together to be honest but anyway other than that we, we also got her her basic attack what is original sin or something like that is deals magic damage equal to 100 percent of i still don't know what that means to a single enemy if target has stackable debuffs as an additional stack so basically she'd be good in the team with anybody that got debuffs if that's her basic like let's say they got poison or something like that she can add another stack to the poison now the next one is called last judge my boss now well that, by the way let me uh clarify that i don't know what's up with that i don't know oh it's a combination combination here whatever okay whatever skill um last judgment Dale's magic damage equal to 170 of int to all enemies if target has stackable debuff as an additional it's the same thing really it is literally the same thing as the original sense so basically it was all the same thing now i know what this do basically it grants you immortality from debuffs and it's called holy hum they call it what divinity divinity but basically you can't get hit with debuffs for i'm not sure how long actually um two turns two turns for two turns you can't get hit with debuffs and the next one is horn of a judge Okay, so basically gains one energy when the begin when battle begins. I'm so sorry. Deals magic damage equal to 100 percent of whatever that is to all enemies. If the if target has stack will debuff, 30% chance to add an additional uh stack basically. Mm, yeah, and you gain two energy from it. Wow, you get a, you can make a stack and gain two energy. Now, if you have, I think this is Mael. Mo I said Mael. I'm thinking the seven daily sins. This is Michael my bad i'm so sorry sir but anyway it's attacks all enemies dealing magic damage equal to 100 percent of gabriel's int plus 100 percent of michael's srt was his strength guaranteed to hit targets if target has stackable debuff as two stack grants all allies debuff up damage reduced plus 10 percent for two turns wow so you really want to match her and him together on your team so they can like you know kind of you know save your team to a point now oh wait we all go, we gotta get into the stats now her hp right now from what the stuff and the gear i got on all da, 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 da. her hp is at well 113k her int i don't know what that is by the way wait is that is that hit is int just attack or something like that i don't know somebody tell me in the comment section below please please and before we get too deep in the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe if you're new don't forget to share the video guys and like come on now do it do it but anyway anyway other than that we also have her physical defense her magical defense and her speed which is both magic and physical defense is surprisingly what i am really a surprise is 732 and her speed is 95 now if you want to add up you know the little pluses pause on the end right there you could do that yourself because um yeah that's not my job but <laughs> no no it's not but anyway anyway let's see int the higher the int the higher the magic defense the magic damage or healing dealt oh okay so int is basically like 
damage slash healing. Okay, okay. Now, let me see. Her crit. This is her depth for her crit. I don't even know what it is. Block, penetration, accuracy. Like that. These are stats right here. And she don't really got no stats down here except for CHM, whatever CHM is. I think that's uh charm. Yeah, charm. Now, all right. So, other than that, her awakened things, well, you obviously got to go through one, each one. Her first one is an increase. Oh, wait, not my bad. Grants all allies. You know, well, aka okay, you get the move next after that is plus 10 on accuracy and then it's when it inflicts the random debuff on target without stack of debuffs and then crit and then it's when after that you can get one grants one stack of defense up on what is that thing that's the second skill i'm not sure i'm not sure now this is the gear i got on it right here i know it don't look that good okay i know this i know this but basically what this get but what gear you would want her want her mostly basically pretty to be honest let's all be real let's all be real i think that you would really want I say probably HP and physical defense and magical defense on her because if you can keep her HP up, she can take less less hit. Well, she can take less less damage from single target attack. But yeah, I think mainly because like the debuff stuff, that's kind of guaranteed to be honest. So I say babyly run her like more healthy, more tanky, like a tank hitter or something like that instead of a glass cannon type of character because she's not a glass cannon type of character, obviously. Now other than that, I just got some artifacts on this is random artifacts don't worry about it but i mean she got libra which is good actually because she got some max hp and then one of her perks is before taking attack 14 percent 40 percent chance to increase pin by 100 percent for one turn see look you don't even need to put no pin on her because when you get dead you have a 40 percent chance but well we probably you can upgrade that later on but you'll have a slim chance to do something good you know so i mean you'll be good at the end of the day let's be real now now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take her into some little things some challenges probably you know random things random things to show how she is used in the team so let's go right here let's go to 25 now it may be one challenge it may be more than one challenge it just depends on how quick we get through it because i don't want y'all to actually sit here for like 15 minutes looking at a character now she could just get out the way because she is not the focus point probably come on get out of here get out of here okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just do that right there now as you see let's look at the charm thing just in case y'all don't know now let's see she this one got four this one got two right now if i do that it should go up to three yep it went up to three See, she'd be good with the succubus because basically, like, she'd be good with on the deep, deep buff type of or area. I'm mean, a type of team because, as you can see, the succubus, right? The succubus was one of her things is like I think it's her all. Does basically the more the the more charms on the character, the more damage she do. That's literally it. That's literally all she do. The more charms, the more damage. Now, if you were to have her, y'all, let's say like you put what well, I say probably about four charms on on the character or something like that and then you like well four charms i mean five would do more damage than four so why not shouldn't i just use five well obviously what you're going to do you can use gabriel and then when you use gabriel you got more you got one two three four five and then five equals more damage more damage equals oh yeah i'm just that good i mean obviously i'm just that good but anyway anyway at the end of the day i think that she'll work really best on the debuff team because like most of her skills evolve around giving people giving characters well enemies not characters not really characters they're mainly enemies giving enemies more stuff on a debuff like like look at this he got five charms you know why boom and then look, look let's see now he got well he still got five i don't know if the max five or something like that but basically each time she hit it's gonna go up and up and then and then he she's on the debuff team and she uses her aoe all this stuff will go up imagine like you go from let's say three poison to four poison and then it's going to five next thing you know that person probably gonna go down from the poison itself like that's what type of team you probably will want for her to be honest that's my opinions not yours rock with them anyway but anyway guys i just wanted to you know make a little well not first impressions on the character i guess you could say that but a character reveal but anyway if you like me talking like this i don't know but anyway make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new don't forget to share the video guys and also 
also don't forget to donate hit that donation link in the description because i'm trying to do this little thing i need the money for it you know i don't got no money so make sure you guys donate up and i'll see you guys later look at succubus winning every time every day and i'll see you later guys and peace out see you later